Hey, greetings. This is Dwayne. Welcome back to, uh, uh, <laughs> I probably should have given this a name, huh? All right. Free trades are back. That's what you're tuning in for. CFRN.net slash free e-mini trades. They are back for a limited time. As you know, our concierge trade alerts began as a three-year public beta test which was very successful and it drug out for three years because we just wanted to create the best possible product that we could. And now the time has passed. There are those who want to get in and they say, I didn't know you back then, or I would have earned money during the beta and then I could afford your premium product. Okay. Fair enough. That's one side of the story. The other side of the story is we like to give back. We like to pay it forward. We always have. We always will. So the story's here. More importantly, if you scroll down, this is here. You can go here, sign up for free e-mini trades. Now, what's the catch? Well, there is none. What do you mean? <laughs> There's always a catch. Nah, this time there isn't. It's just free. I'm not saying it'll be free forever, but for now, it's free. Go to this page, cfrn.net slash free e-mini trades, and sign up, and you'll see. You'll see. It is free. I may not have given you the date. Today is... Um, Tuesday, 13th day of October, 2015. Time now is 6.15 p.m. Eastern. Although I'm on West Coast time. Okay, uh, last night we sent out concierge trade alerts and I'm gonna go through those just real quick. I've already got them marked up for you. Uh, ES starts it off short below 2008 or long above 2015. The swing high was 2014.75. So we never triggered on the long side, but we had some beautiful moves to the downside. This first move dropped to 2006. Now we have a daily goal of $100 per contract per day. That teaches you over time to build your account size. We have a 2420 blueprint designed to take you from one to 20 contracts over a period of 24 months, 2420 blueprint, okay? So there was a two point move, then we had this back and forth, and then 3 a.m. Eastern, most of us here in the U.S. are sleeping, but in Europe, they're ringing the bell. I don't actually know if they have a bell, but we dropped below 2008, and in the same hour, got down to 2,001 and a half. So that's six and a half S&P points, $50 per point. The swing low was 1996.75. Nice move. But you got to get up at 3 a.m. Eastern to take advantage of the European Open. All right. Now, we believe that important prices and important areas are almost always tested. This is what we mean by the test. It came up, it almost triggered on the long side, but it didn't, that's key. And then it dropped back down and we've now put in a swing low at 1990.50. So that's 18 S&P points. Once the alerts hit your inbox, they are valid until the next set hit your inbox, typically about 24 hours later. So this trade still in play until the alerts hit the inbox tonight. At the end of this video, I'm gonna just run through real quick a couple more of the alerts from last night, and then on to tonight's free trade. Unlike Kramer, my budget only allows for just the one bill. All right, you ready? Let's go to bonds. 
Bonds are <clears throat> an interesting animal. They pay, now the S&P pays $12.50 per tick or $50 per point. Bonds pay $31.25 per tick. There are 32 ticks in a point and a point is a gee whiz or a thousand bucks. <clears throat> and thousand dollar moves are not unusual in bonds. Not of late. Now, yesterday we had a 24 tick move. 32 ticks would have been a thousand dollars per contract. Today in bonds, we had a double top here at 158.14. Our trigger was 158. Now in the same hour that we triggered, we put in a swing high at 158.07. At 31.25 per tick, just four ticks will give you your daily goal if you're trading the 2420 blueprint. If you stuck around, you picked up another seven ticks. Well, let me rephrase that. The market moved to 158.14. We don't have the ability to be all prophetic <clears throat> and call the high or the low of the day before it happens. We may often have a good idea. We get you into the trade. We teach you how to use a hard stop. We teach you how to establish a hard target. We teach you how to reach that hard target. And then as you grow and you're trading multiple contracts, we'll show you how to hit the hard target maybe hit another hard target, and then trail your stop until the market comes back and takes you out with profit. That's how you maximize the trade. Now, important prices, important areas are almost always tested. You heard me say that before. If you tune into the radio show, you'll hear it every day. Price gets back below the trigger. This time, we put in a swing high. Once again, 158.14. And because the alerts have not gone out, the new alerts for today, this is still in play. So we've got a swing high here of another eight ticks. So we had seven that became 14. And we had 11 that became 14. And now we have eight remember 3125 per tick per contract crude oil yesterday was a two thousand dollar day we told our clients to be short crude 4905 okay i'll show you right here crude short below 4905 you're a client, you got the email. The first swing low took us down 56 cents in this hour <clears throat> to here. Now, that's $560 per contract, $10 per tick. When you go from 49.05 to 48.05, that's $1,000 per contract. And when you drop down to 4705, that's $2,000 per contract. Today was a nice day, short below 4730, and we swung down to 4772. So that's a 58 cent drop, $580 per contract. And price gets above the trigger and drops again to close the hour at 47.04. So we'll call that about a 26 cent drop or $260 per contract. Then we trigger on the long side, 47.90 up to 48.41. So that's 51 cents 
or $510 per contract. Important prices, important areas. Here we go again. This time the swing low is 46.44. See, if we got down to 46.30, right there, that would be a $1,000 move from right there at 47.30 46 30 but we get down to a swing low of 46 44 so you're trailing with a tight stop it comes back it takes you out you have no complaints the euro euro's been kind of flat today yesterday we had some movement uh, we said to be long above 11 385 we actually got up to 11. 408. So if the euro doesn't perk up here pretty quick, uh, I may switch it out for something different. Soybeans. Big day in the beans. Now, yesterday the alert was to be long above 890. You need two pennies, two, to make your daily goal for the 2420 blueprint. See the swing high, 892? Okay, ran right up, ding, ding, and then right back down. Important price is you're getting the hang of this. And then off we go for a three cent run. And then, see right there, we get back below. And off we go all the way up to 894 for a four cent run. Now beans pay $50 per penny just as the S&P pays $50 per point. A point has four ticks. A penny has four ticks. The ticks are worth $12.50 each. Back below the trigger and up to $8.94 and change. And then into today, our alert said again to be long above $8.90. Soybeans is one of the rare markets where you'll see often for a couple three days in a row that the trigger on the long or the short side or even both sides might be the same reason for that soybeans are a real thing that you can hold in your hand not an index not one of the indices it's not a figment of man's imagination it's a real thing that springs forth out of the belly of the earth and so you have some natural supply and demand factors at work. Now, last Friday, we got a monthly report. It's called the WASD report. And we had a huge day on Friday. Yesterday, nice day. Today, nice day. Now, this first move, it took us high enough to move our stop to break even, but not enough to hit our profit target. We need to get to 892 to hit the daily profit target. But with beans, we have what we call a big bean number. And so each day in beans, you get not only the bean number, you get a big bean number. And so each day, if you're trading soybeans, you're looking for that first target at 890 and then every few days to few weeks, depends upon the volatility of the market, we have a big bean number, 908. Now, if you were trading for the big bean number that was 18 cents from the trigger at 890 times $50 per penny equals $900 per contract. Okay. Now, let me show you the soybean daily chart. Bert and I, we drew some fibs a couple days ago. We put some, uh, we started with the trend line across the top. We turned it into a price channel. And it's real easy to see how we popped out of that channel today. Now, what will be really important tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, that's when beans open. So we want to see if this is going to continue or if we're going to come back and do a Trader Vic and touch the top of this trend line. So in other words, we'll have a leg 
and a retracement followed by the real leg. You know that tricky thing the market does where it comes back, stops you out? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, where would you have your stop right now? Below this low? If you were going to go long? What if it came back and touched the top of this trend line? Stopped you out, and then away it goes. Not saying that'll happen, just saying when it happens, understand that that's quite often the dynamic behind it. It's not any one person trying to run your stop or take your money. It's just a dynamic of the market. Leg, retrace, leg, retrace, leg. Okay. All right. Sorry, but <clears throat> can't take a hangout call during this video. So hopefully they'll hang up. There they go. No. All right. Let's continue. Get this video done. Because really what you want is you want the free trade. And I'm going to get you there in just a second. <clears throat> okay. So we looked at bonds, we looked at soybeans, the Dow. Okay, today the Dow whimpered on the upside. We said to be long above 170.60. The Dow only pays $20 per point. I'm sorry, $5 per point. So you need 20 points to hit the $100 mark per contract. On the upside, it only gave 16 cents. On the downside, better story. We said to be short below 17,000, and so in the first hour on the downside, we got 33 cents. We only need, or 33 points, I'm thinking beans, 33 points, we got 20. If you stayed in the trade, if you trailed your stop, if you're trading multiple contracts and you're taking some off and trailing, etc., the swing low was 920. So that's an 80 point move at $5 per point. Okay. And right now we're in another move to the downside. And this move, this here, the swing low on this was. 16,994. Okay, so the swing low again. So far, 16,940. So that's a 60 cent move on our hands. How many do we need? 20. This was a stop out. If we're trading the 2420 blueprint principle, we never risk more than eight ticks on any trade. And on bonds, we never risk more than four ticks. The Russell today was an absolute monster. Okay. On the long side, we got up to 1167.40. Now that's 14 ticks. The Russell pays $10 per tick. So that was $140 per contract, which isn't bad. It was the short side, which was pretty sweet. Now, the first hour that we triggered on the short side, we moved a full point from 62 down to a low of 61. That's $100 per contract, done for the day. Unless you stayed in the trade, and this took you down to $180 per contract, and then the trade reset. See how it got back above the trigger? Important prices, right? And so then we drop to 1159.50. Each point from 61 to 60, 100 bucks per contract. 60 to 59, another 100, another 100 bucks. 59 to 58, another 100 bucks. Okay, so the swing low was 1153.70 from 62. So, about eight hundred bucks per contract if you stayed in the move. Now, remember, we can't get you out at the exact lower the high of the day. Just can't be done. Um, 
I'm not prophetic. I can teach how to trail a stop, but I can't predict the future. Sorry. Which brings up a question. You might say, well, how come you say be long or be short? Don't you know which way the market's going? Well, I have an opinion, as do most traders. I think I know where it's going. But let's say you only trade the S&P. Let's use that for our example. Ultimately, the, let me just show you this example. The Russell ultimately did $2,000 per contract in this move on the short side. How much does it cost to trade the Russell? Now, intraday margins are 500 bucks. Intraday is a confusing term. All that means is if you hold a position from one session to the next session, then you're subjected to the full margin. If you were in this trade and you got out at the closing bell and then got back in at 6 p.m. Eastern when the market reopened, yes, you'll pay an extra commission, but you're right back to the day rates. So just because it's dark outside doesn't mean you can't participate in the intraday margins of $500. The major indices, the S&P, the Dow, the Russell, the NASDAQ, with our broker, it's $500 per contract. Just make sure you're flat by the closing bell and you can reopen your position. See, it's Tuesday night, 6.36 on the East Coast p.m., but we're trading now what's considered to be the Wednesday session, okay? All right, so back to the example I was going to give you. Let's say the only thing you trade is the S&P. And so maybe today my opinion was the S&P was going to trade higher versus lower. So I just sent out an alert that simply said, consider being short below 2008. Or I'm sorry, if I said that, you'd be very happy. But if I said, consider being long above 2015, and I was wrong, happens, you would be left without a trade for the day. Well, that's not what you signed up for now, is it? So rather than try to predict what the market is going to do, because if you're familiar with Mark Douglas's work, he's very famous for this statement and this teaching, you don't have to know what's going to happen next in the market to know what, you don't have to know what's going to happen next to make money in the market. What you do have to know is what you're going to do. As long as you know what you're going to do next, then you're good to go. Because you'll never know with great certainty, absolute certainty, what the market's going to do next. Because you don't know what's going to happen, who's going to step up to the plate, what institution's going to dive in head first, what sort of news events are going to come out. So you always have a plan, no matter what the market does. I know what I'm going to do. So that's why when you get the alerts, they say, consider being long above 2015 or short below 2008. It can be whichever presents first or, as in the example you just saw in the Russell, you can take advantage of both sides. Yes, you can double dip and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Now, I don't want to sound arrogant and apologize for the gardener in the background, if you can hear that whirring noise, um, but it is <laughs> the gardener. Now, uh, some go, yeah, I bet it's your wife in the corner over there with your electric razor. No, it's actually the gardener. It's not like we have a full-time gardener. He comes twice a year to trim the bushes. Just so happens today, right as I put the headset on, and fired up the mic to make this video. Today's the day. Yep, you betcha. Okay. <clears throat> the last market I want to show you was gold. 
We've had huge days in gold of late. This is last Friday. We said to be long above 1143. This thing ran up $16, which is $1,600 per contract. Nice. Imagine how happy the 10 contract trader is. Remember the 2420 blueprint is created. It's designed to take you from one to 20 contracts over a period of 24 months. Now you might ask, could a person really trade 20 contracts in gold? Well, let's see. We triggered on this candle, there was 2,000 contracts, 1,400 contracts, 1,800 contracts, 2,000 contracts. At the high here, we were talking 15, over 15,000 contracts traded in that hour. So the answer is yes, you can trade 10, 20, even more contracts, but you can't do it at once. You've got to start with one contract. You use your profits that you earn from the one contract to add a second contract. You don't rob the IRA. You don't hit up Aunt Ida for another loan. You earn your way to success. That's what we believe in. No overnight riches. Earn your way to success. Build a business. Solid foundation. Okay? A lot of small businesses that grew into big businesses, they started out with one product. They earned money. They reinvested in their business. They expanded their product line. Follow me? Okay. Now, yesterday was a $1,000 per contract day in gold, 1600 per contract on Friday, $160 per contract yesterday. Today, not so much, okay? We said to be short below 1153. We dropped 10 ticks, that's 100 bucks. Nobody's perfect. Then we dropped again to 1151.30, so that's 170 bucks per contract. And then on the long side, well, we got up nine ticks there, and ultimately we put in a swing high at 68.60, so that's 26 ticks, okay? Great days and okay days. And some days, you just get stopped out, okay? All right, so I want to remind you, once again, that's the wrong reminder, to get started with the free trials if you have not already. Go here, cfrn.net, free e-mini trades. Fill this out, and then watch your inbox because you're going to get a automated email. We don't believe in spam, so we use a double opt-in process. This is going to make sure that you really do want to get these free trades. Then you're going to get another email that shows you how to actually register. And as opposed to getting the trade by email, it's going to give you a link or a website address. It's a uh, password protected page. So every time you go there, you'll have to type in your user ID, your password, and when it opens up, It'll look a little something like this. Or maybe it'll look more like this. I think I did something wrong. Free mini trades. Countdown? Is that it? Oh, shucks. Ah. But you gotta log in. See? Really? 
rather insulting when you get turned away by your own website. There we go. Okay. There's 14 minutes left to the next trade. Coming out at 7 p.m. Eastern tonight. So by the time you watch this and listen to it, you probably missed it. But once the trade goes off, it'll be highlighted for you. And tonight it will say the next free e-mini trade will appear on this page at and will it be Wednesday will it be Thursday will it be Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. will it be Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. get signed up and find out right here cfrn.net free e-mini trades. So with that, I bid you adieu because I've got a free trade to put out. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the live trade. Oh, by the way, live trading room. If you want to come and hang out with us in the live trading room, do this. Just remember the word apply. Like that. If you want to learn how to trade e-mini futures, come spend five days with us. Not only can you watch us trade for two hours a day, Monday through Friday, you get to use our platform and you get to use our strategy and you get to use our indicators, okay, for five full days. This way, at the end of the five days, before you plop down any cash for our 90-day mentoring program and lifetime ownership of the indicators, you will already know if this is something that you think you can do okay not everybody can quite frankly not everyone's cut out to be a trader I know probably not supposed to tell you that because then you might not you know sign up but you know what I'd rather tell you the truth let you be well informed have you be a happy member of our community and to have you be grumbling so go to this page uh, there's a little video there you can watch now the same thing applies when you sign up here register you're gonna get an automated email got to look in your inbox uh, your bulk mail uh, what else uh, if you use Gmail they'll put it in the promotions folder it can go anywhere just search your email for support at cfrn.net find it confirm that you really do want it and watch your inbox because that's when you'll get the big email with the link to get into the live trading room and the password the trading room is open from 9 30 a.m to 11 30 a.m monday through friday you get five days so you can start any day of the week you'll still get five consecutive trading days okay you get to use the indicator set for a full week platform data won't cost you a dime okay so i hope i see you in the live trading room and stand by for the next free trade